Hey guys, Ron here, Tools Guys. A little experiment tonight. Uh, it's uh, Sunday night, day before Memorial Day. Um, I decided to try uh, using the Mavic indoors, like a, like a product shot camera, slider, crane, what have you. I'm using it in the, uh, in the 20 by 20 foot room. Um, just a good experiment. There's a, there's a 6000 series camera with a newer light on it. Uh, HP pavilion with a large monitor for editing and then educational TV just getting a fine education watching this brilliant tremendous show um, so anyway I'm sitting at that table way in the right with the controller and just messing around with uh, the Mavic and uh, trying to see how we can do this indoors and uh, you gotta remember to shut off uh, return to home you don't want it accelerating ascending to the ceiling to try and fly home so you got to put it in hover mode when battery gets low or land so um, headphones hanging all the way on the left that's a uh, an inspire propeller stuck under there to use for hanging cables and things I got a bunch of them laying around and um, just trying to use this thing like a uh, like product shot camera and it works really beautifully it's, been, it's great it's unbelievable the definition and focus is good the stability is excellent. No GPS indoors. Strictly the sensors an optical flow sensor. And uh, it's good to shut off avoidance so you can get closer to objects. But uh, it's up to either way. There's another Sony on the corner there with the uh, Sarui small tripod. And um, Blazer Ray flashlight. Um, uh, SJ6000, SJ4000 imitation GoPro on mini tripod. Down below here, a bunch of cables, case for the uh, Osmo, case for the um, the Mavic, and the white plastic is full of cables, odds and ends, or and gimmicks. They call them dongles today, but I always used gimmicks, you know. And uh, that table's a uh, it's a Cobalt with a K. That's a that's a Lowe's product. Cobalt is their tool company, their tool division, and, and their own products. That stool and that table are tremendous. It's a six and a half foot table, solid steel base. Uh, I think it's three quarter inch finished ply. Comes complete, 168 bucks on sale. And then down there we got a bunch of storage stuff, just odds and ends. Some of the stuff I showed you on the giveaways. Spare laptop in case uh, one of them crashes or gets jammed up. I like having backup of everything. Cables, odds and ends, and all that good stuff. And a beautiful shower to the floor. Oh, nice. So, uh, it should be interesting. Now, next cut, got the camera back up, do some, uh, some panning left to right, uh, trying to get a little closer, messing around with, um, the controls, and, uh, this thing hovers magnificently, um, it just, just works beautifully. Uh, first time I've been doing indoors with, uh, trying to be careful with the, uh, actual footage because outdoors it's a lot less refined but indoors I'm not using tripod mode or anything you've got to be a little more gentle on the controls but this guy once you take off you let go of the controls he stays right where you put them so you really only need to use the right control left control for uh, yaw or panning left to right and the right control for forward back left right and uh, uh, basically that's it you really only need to use one control so this is a review of the table and all the junk on here using the Mavic as the brilliant camera, flying camera, and uh, it's pretty intense. It's a lot of fun. I didn't think it was going to work this well, but it really is terrific. The blades create a little bit of wind, which is nice, cools things off, but uh, not a problem. Uh, so I think we got about, what, seven, seven and a half minutes. I ran the batteries down on purpose. I'm trying to run them down to like 10%, because what these batteries will do is after 10 days, they'll automatically start to discharge. They're very smart. And these batteries, the LiPos, uh, need to be discharged when they're in storage so they can take a charge better and get recharged many times. So I set it for, uh, I'm trying to get down to 10%. And again, I sent, return to home, I turned off and set it for hover. So when it actually got down to about 30%, it started to give me a warning. I kept running it and I ran it till it, uh, so it got to 10%, at 10% gave me another warning, started to hover, and then uh, 
it realized it really didn't have enough power to hover too long, so it landed beautifully. And uh, anyway, it's a good shot. I'm over there in that corner table controlling this thing, watching this brilliant educational television. Actually, this is a really good episode. This is the one where they talk about trolls, and uh, it's very funny. It's actually very good. These guys have been in Trey Parker and um, uh, Matt Stone. Brilliant. These guys are nuts. They've been doing basketball and all their great stuff, I and mean, these guys are nuts, but they've been doing this for 20 years now. It's hard to believe. Anyway, so having fun with the Mavic indoors. Can't get out to fly today, raining, weather's bad. Fly it in the house, have a ball. I'm not using tripod mode, just having a, pl having a lot of fun. And um, this is what we got. So uh, I'm sure I could refine, I'm sure in tripod mode I could refine it slightly. And I could, you could actually plan a product shot and uh, preset the course. So it would fly a preset course automatically probably even more stable. Anyway, it's been fun I'm having a ball here tonight and uh, thanks guys. Out for now. Keep watching. Win stuff. Happy flying.